Hello, my name is Kevin Barry and I'm the Strength and Conditioning Coordinator here at Kutztown University. I'm also considered probably the moderator of this course. So I just want to take this time to thank you for your interest in the virtual internship. And the purpose of this video is to go over the course sequence and then the internship requirements. Um, this class really is for anybody from a freshman up until a graduate. Um, I've tried to develop the course in a way that if you want to read into more detail, more research, that's possible. But if you're looking to get a basic overview of strength and condition or anything personal training based, I think this will be a good course sequence and format for you. Um, so taking a look on the left side, the overall module is going to be nine modules with a tenth one to be determined. Um, basically, what we'll go over is the format of everything that I do here at Kutztown University. Uh, a little bit about myself before we get started with that. I work with all teams here at Kutztown University. It's a Division II program. Uh, prior to that, I worked at a Division I university as an assistant strength and conditioning coach. I work primarily with women's soccer, men's and women's swimming, and then I also worked with rugby. But I did assist with men's basketball, women's basketball, softball, lacrosse, and a couple other sports. Previous to that, I was a graduate assistant at University of North Carolina Pembroke. I worked there for a little bit over a year. I uh, worked with uh, baseball primarily my last semester. Prior to that, worked across all sports at a Division II program. So I'm currently in my third year at Kutztown University. And uh, like I said, it is a Division II program. It is a staff of one. I work uh, with all teams myself. I do have two to three work studies that we're looking to develop over time. So let's go ahead and get into the module and we'll give a background from there. Okay, so module one is going to be policies and procedures. We'll break that down to everything I do here from how to design the gym, uh, how we do inventory checks, what our procedures are for weight room scheduling, any conflicts of interest there, emergency planning and response. Then in week two, we'll go over the dynamic warm up. A couple of different types of warm ups here. Uh, we have a gym based warm up and then a field based warm up as well. So we'll give some actual examples in there. In week three, we'll go over the industry certifications. So those are from the two big organizations, NSCA and CSCCA. Then in week four, we'll build into some practical programming. So we'll go over some plyometric program design, and then I'll give a sample program that I've run with some of our athletes here. Uh, week five, six, and seven, this is really the biggest part of the internship program. We're going to break it down over a couple of weeks. Lots of examples here, lots of research, and a couple of Excel sheets that you can download and play around with yourself. We'll go over what periodization is, considerations. Uh, in week six and seven, we'll go over how to calculate intensity, volume, and we'll give some training templates, my own personal training template that I use for all sports here at Kutztown University. In week six, we'll go over test selection and administration. So what testing we do here, why we do it, and how we can monitor for performance enhancement or improvement over time. In week seven, we'll go over cardiovascular train program design, we'll go over volume, frequency, intensity, and then we'll go over the a new guidelines, relatively new from CSCCA and NSCA about the transition periods. Also have an Excel calculator that you can download there. In module eight, we'll go over some nutrition requirements, dietary supplements, eating disorders, and then hydration requirements or recommendations for student athletes. In week nine, we'll go over modifying conditioning and strength training. So we'll go over how to bring an athlete back from injury, some limitations or adjustments, and then how to communicate effectively with athletic trainers as well. The last module, week 10, is going to be to be determined based on your feedback. Um, and how I'll go about your feedback, we'll see on the right side. So on the right side, we have the virtual internship requirements. We'll have four Zoom conversations over time. So they'll be on week two, five, eight, and then 11. Email me and we'll figure out a time that works. I know we've got a lot of different people from a lot of different locations. Basically, the idea with the Zoom meetings is to go over anything from previous modules or it's just a chance to talk shop. If you have any questions or thoughts, concerns, comments, That'll be probably the best time to reach out from there. We also have four assignments that will build upon 
your knowledge of the modules from the left side. The first one is going to be assignment one certifications. So you'll compare and contrast a couple of nationally recognized certifications. We'll also have in week six a program design quiz. So I'll ask what percentages are, relative intensity, train and volume. It'll be six to 10 questions, multiple choice. Then in assignment two, week seven, we'll build upon module five, which is the resistance train and program design. I'll ask you to write a four week program that will have a clear progression for reps, sets, volume, and intensity. The assignment number three is going to be in week nine, and that's going to be a conditioning training template. So I'll ask for a six week template then. Uh, week nine's one is going to build off of module seven where we'll look into cardiovascular training and program design. So it should be fresh in your mind. In week 10, we'll have a multiple choice quiz. That's 10 questions based on a research article. And then assignment four is a research paper. So the research paper will build upon an injury that you think is interesting. Let's go down to the bottom. So I want you to look at a common sports injury. Tell me basically everything you know about it. Do some research. I'm asking for five references to be included. If you're taking this class for credit, I want you to email your academic advisor. Put them on a CC as well as me so they know you're keeping up to date with anything. And then lastly, if you do need anything on my end for check-ins, if you are taking it for credit, please make sure to email me ahead of time. It can take a couple of days once we get into the start of semester for me to get back to you. Okay, looking forward to learning a little bit about everyone in this course sequence for the next couple of weeks. And in the meantime, if you do have any questions, please reach out. Talk to you guys soon.